Right now, a previously deported illegal immigrant accused of rape is on the run after a judge in Boston ignored federal requests to keep him detained. Our Fox station in Boston reported on the story. Here's part of it. A dangerous drive home for a local woman after investigators say she was assaulted by her Uber driver, who used a fake name to register with the rideshare company. 34 year old Louis Baez pled not guilty to three counts of rape. Prosecutors say the young woman was picked up using the app in Boston last September and driven to a location she didn't request. Baez allegedly raped her and then dropped her off at Boston College, where she reported the incident to campus police. But it didn't end there. Newton District Court Judge Mary Beth Heffernan refused a request from prosecutors to set high bail for Baez. She released him after acquiring just 2,500 bucks. Now, ICE agents are hunting for him. They say he's disappeared. Howie Carr writes for the Boston Herald, hosts a daily radio show, one of the most famous men in New England, also the author of the book Kennedy Babylon. He joins us tonight. Howie, thanks a lot for coming on. This story almost, I mean, sounds like something that you'd make up. It sounds like a parody. How did this happen? Is it what it seems? Yeah, I think uh, this, this is a pattern that's uh, repeating itself all over the country, uh, Tucker. In, in this case, uh, the guy is a, an illegal alien, once deported, a Dominican, uh, purportedly a, a gangbanger in the city of Boston, and he's operating under an alias, as you just heard. And uh, so they bring him in, and the uh, prosecutor, an assistant district attorney from a very liberal county, works for a very liberal Democrat uh, district attorney, uh, comes in there and says, uh, we want 100000 thousand dollars bail on this guy yeah. because he's a flight risk and ice has asked us uh, to a uh, whole and make sure that he's held because they're going to put a detainer on him to make sure that he can't escape and we want a GPS the uh, the judge a political appointee of former governor uh, Deval Patrick another very liberal uh, yeah. democratic politician doesn't even listen to the entire argument by the uh, the employee of a liberal democratic uh, district attorney and so just uh, says twenty five hundred dollars bond and then says can he make the bond here at the courthouse so he doesn't have to go back to jail she didn't want to inconvenience him in the least. So he makes the bond and uh, that was nine days ago and nobody has seen him since. What's He's so vanished. remarkable. I mean, everything that the... I mean, it's this tension. Yeah. Okay, so when it really comes down to it, when the left is pushed, <clears throat> in this case a liberal judge, to balance the rights of women, which they say they stand for, with the so-called rights of illegal aliens, the latter wins. 2500 bucks for bail on a rape charge? Have you heard of that before? No, well, it's it's happening ar around the country, uh, Tucker. There was a case in New York City last week. A, uh, a Dominican uh, woman was charged with uh, pleaded guilty to stealing thirty-five thousand dollars worth of uh, Victoria's Secret products, and uh, the judge tried to block photographers from taking her picture out in the uh, out in the hall of the courthouse. He said, "You're just going to get her deported." He tried to stop them. You had a case in Portland, Oregon, in January, where a, a Mexican illegal alien was uh, in court uh, for a hearing for a drunk driving case. The ICE agents were out in the hall waiting for him to come out so they could grab him, put a detainer on him, and throw him out of the country somebody let him out of the the back door of the uh, of the courtroom we had another case in, in uh, Springfield Western Mass here last year a uh, Dominican uh, bodega owner was uh, was pleading guilty to stealing thirty five thousand dollars worth of food stamps f welfare fraud and he came into the court and the judge said in an open courtroom you know if you were an American we'd be sentencing you to some serious jail time but we don't want to get you deported so we're not going to give you any jail time and the guy got probation, stealing $35,000. The woman in Manhattan, she didn't do any jail time. She didn't do restitution. She didn't do any uh, community service. I mean, it's like there's a double standard here. In many cases, illegal aliens or, or, or uh, non-citizens are treated better than Americans. My jaw is open because, I mean, we've already moved past the point where the left is arguing that we shouldn't enforce immigration law to a point where... They're showing favoritism to people who are breaking the law because they're breaking the law. Where does this, where does I, this I, go from here? I, I don't know where it goes. I just uh, chronicle it all the time. Uh, it, Tucker, we had a case, another one in Massachusetts here, an illegal alien from uh, Ecuador. Uh, was drunk and he ran over an American motorcyclist in uh, the town of Milford in central Massachusetts. 
they uh, they hired a uh, a court psychologist. We the taxpayers hired him, and he wrote a report and he said this guy should not be held accountable. An illegal alien uh, on welfare, drunk driving, should not be held accountable for his drunk driving because he's of quote mongoloid descent. That's what they said. He's an Indian, in other words, and so he lacked the enzyme to metabolize the alcohol, so he wasn't responsible for killing the American citizen while he was in the country legally driving drunk. I mean, they, they, again, this is going on every day in the country. No, what? This is why I always find it hard to listen to your radio show because I'm mesmerized by it. I'm afraid I'm going to hit a bridge abutment while I'm listening to it. Howie Carr, thanks for coming on tonight. That really, you blew my mind. Thank you, Tucker.